All right, welcome to the fifth video in the Firefox Tips and Tricks Web Designer series. And now I want to show you a little tool called Colorzilla. It uh, is a very, very neat little tool. I use it just about every day that, uh, that I'm designing any type of web graphic or anything, uh, trying to match it to pages, uh, getting colors, whatever the case may be. Uh, like I say, I use it pretty much on a daily basis, and it's something that uh, I think you'll enjoy also. So I've gone back again. I'm at Firefox.com is what I typed in. And remember, it takes you to Mozilla, and you'll go to the add-ons for Firefox. Okay, there'll be a little top menu up there to get you there. And we're looking for Colorzilla, just like it, C-O-L-O-R-Z-I-L-L-A. Search for it, and there it is. I'm not going to install it. It's the same way as installing the Pixlr. You'll actually, I'll click on it and show you, and you'll do an install now. I'm not going to because I already have it on my system. Okay, so you will install it, and you'll have to restart Firefox to get it active. And once you get it active, you're going to have this little uh, icon down here at the bottom. And it, it, it's really cool. Click on it, and you'll notice that I've got this little plus looking thing now that's my cursor. And if you'll notice, it'll change color when I go over different areas of the page. So if I want to know the color of this graphic right here, all I've got to do is position, click. Then I'll go back down and I'll do a right click and boom, I've got my colors right here. I've got my RGB uh, colors and I've got the two different versions here. Most of the time though, you're going to be using, you'll be using these hex numbers here, okay? But whatever your program calls for, you've got it here in front of you. And that is one of the, that's one of the very coolest things about it, being able to find colors of your web pages and graphics and such as it'll save you a lot of time because it can be a real pain trying to figure those out and another thing is okay so you've got palette browser check this out you can actually come over and you've got a color in mind you know but you just don't know so you want to take a look at it and you can actually click around and get your color numbers that's what you'll need some programs require the different ones. Nearly always hex these days is what's used in most of the programs. So if you want to get some color besides blue there, you click over in this area, you'll notice that it changes. And there's your palettes there. And here, the best thing to do if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're building web pages, you want to go with web safe colors. Okay, well safe colors are just what they said. They are if you if you'll use these colors, you're certain for certain that your browser will display them properly because you can choose them and sometimes you'll just get close. And again, uh, this is good for doing your background images, background colors, and everything like that. So that's your picker. Get rid of it, doing okay. And you can go with your color picker. Again, that's the same thing. Eyedropper is just what we did earlier when I clicked on it. It's just a different actual way to get there. Okay, go through each one of them. And this is a little bit more advanced, but take a look. There you go. Play around with it and you'll see what the different colors are. See where it's going. Showing you the different areas, the different colors on the page. It's pretty new, pretty cool little tool. You can actually go down and see the colors. This is great for getting your information off of a web page. This is maybe advanced for many of you, but uh, there's a lot of information here. Take time to look at it and go over it, and you'll find how useful this tool really is. And there's a few other things that you can do. You're zooming in and all of that. So that is pretty much it. You can go to the options here, and you can change the shortcut and, and, and stuff like that. I always pretty much just leave it at default. Play around with it and see. So there's one other tool that's uh, really excellent for people building web pages and working with these graphics and stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to the next video, 
and I'll show you another little cool tool that I use on a daily basis.